Hello and welcome to the Craft Man Show. My name is your host, the Craft Man. In today's episode, we're going to talk about needle felting. What is it? Needle felting is a way that you can make cute and adorable little things for your friends and loved ones and for yourself maybe to encourage yourself to uh, help you get through a day. If you clicked on this video and you in a hurry, got somewhere you need to be and need to know the very basics, then uh, all you need for needle felting is some wool, a needle, and a little pad like that to work on. That's your key ingredients right there. This probably is the most violent yet relaxing uh, probably craft that you can do because what's going to happen is you are going to be stabbing this and it's going to be causing the wool to become entangled. If you look very closely, this needle got little uh, barbs on it like that right there. The motion when it goes in is going to drag along with the little wool uh, strands and then when it comes out it's going to pull strands the opposite direction so you got strands going all in all, all different kind of ways and it's going to become entangled all right that's really all it is really you can just start with the uh, you know whatever you want your shape to be uh what i like to do is uh hold up let me just tell y'all this real quick y'all know how long i've been needle felting Anybody want to take a guess? Since the other day, you know, I've been doing this. I got this uh, stuff in the mail a few days ago, and I have never done this before. But I've had people ask me about it and email me and say, Craft Man, you need to try a needle felt. I think you would like it. And, uh, you know, men's even do needle felt and things like that. So I got me uh, some stuff. So this is not, let me show you what I did. Let me just go on and show you. Uh, I got me that kit right there, ages eight and up. I said, I got to get this little, uh, this little cactus kit right there. Uh, Crass man, you mean to tell me that you ain't been needle felting but about two or three days and you think you can do a video about it? Well, I'm not an uh, expert at this, but I ain't even an expert at things I've been doing for 10, 20, 30 years. You know what I'm saying? So I want to show y'all that even just with a little experience, that you know you can make something uh this is actually what i made with this kit right there uh i know that there's a lot of ways that it could be better but you know this is my first needle felting experience and he comes up out of there by the way and so i made it using the materials and supplies in that kit right there and i said you know at least we can do something crazy like that do you know what i'm saying and these little kits come with instructions, you know, thing. Uh, I thought that was neat how that little man wearing a cactus hoodie, helmet looking, while he need a filter. That's when you really are uh, invested in what you're doing right there. These come in different sizes right there. Large one, medium, small, and uh, typically small one's gonna be for finer, you know, little details and things like that. Like if you're doing little mouths and eyebrows things and stuff like that. And then you got these uh these basic ones. Um, and then if you're really trying to get some things done, they got this thing right there. Look at that. And I might show y'all this in a little bit too. I mean, that's for real, really going to town. And so the basic uh the ba excuse me, the basic motion of what you want to do is, let's say you build your little character. All right, you go ahead and into the shape that you're going to want all right and just get that kind of in the right shape now you can do that with just using felting wool all right or you can do this some people will take them some of this right there that little foamy foam looking stuff and they will go ahead and cut this out into the shape that they want and they will felt right on top of it all right now the felt is uh when you get it you might notice you don't that stuff pretty tough now what happens is if you just kind of pull on it uh gently in shorter sections like that it does come apart see that now also what i like to do is take and uh divide it like this right there now you can cut it you can just go on ahead and cut it uh but i like to use uh keep these edges kind of feathered out like that you know makes it nicer uh, more blendsy and things let's see
let's just say that's going to be our basic shape. We want to make like a rectangle looking. So what you can do is literally, you can take and just go on ahead and just like that right there. Felting that right into place. Now, one thing I'm going to say, a couple of things, a couple of things I'm going to say. Let's just get this going a little bit and then I'll tell y'all something. So, all it's really doing is poking that felt into it, all right? You go straight in, come right out the same direction. You don't want to go in and then twist it and come out. Uh, these little things is a hardened metal. They brittle and they break uh, very, very easy with snap off and won't even think twice about it, all right? And one thing I ain't doing, I ain't keeping my fingers up in behind here. Cause for example, look at that, that needle. So keep your finger where you can see them. All right, don't have it in behind you cause you're gonna draw blood if you do that. So do this. And you just kind of bouncing around, bouncing around, working it in. And look, this is something that is a tedious process. But I prefer to call it, call it a uh, relaxing process. You know what I'm saying? What's happening is this pad is just to keep you from uh, stabbing your needle into a hard surface or into your leg or anything. The more you do this, the smoother it's going to be. It's going to come together eventually. All right, so get you some music going, but just think of this as relaxations. And don't get in no hurry because really, with this, you can't get in a hurry. If you're concerned with stabbing your uh, fingers, they got these little things like this, look. You can put these on. Then they also got these ones made out of uh, silicone. And if it make y'all feel better, I'll go ahead and just wear these for now. You know, just to be a good example to you all. And we just, we just keep on going, you know. Then like I was saying earlier, you got this little deal right there. You see how these little fuzzy fibers sticking up? Watch when you do this right there. You see how the uh, needle is pulling them down, down, down into the main structure. That's the whole essence of needle filtering right there. You just tangling fibers, pushing them down, pushing them down, packing them down, getting them all tangled up, getting everything unified, unification. The more that you keep working, 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 working on it, the snugger it's going to be, but you can see how that it works. And that's just a basic little thing right there I want to show y'all. This little uh, little character I made, he got some little hair. And you can see I uh, attached the hair to, you know, that's not glued on, it's just felted on to it. All I did was I took me some little, uh, I took me a little, a little wispy strand of that right there and just, you know, felted it on. Some of y'all probably already know that orange and blue is a, uh, they complement each other. As a bonus, watch this. He magnetic. I took me a little magnet like that right there and just went ahead and embedded it up in there. I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but you also can use this stuff for uh, stop motions animation. Tell your mom and them I said hello, ask how they do. All right, take care, all right. But I got an admission to make to y'all. This was my first one of these right there. Oh, mercy. That's kind of pitiful. Look at him. If you look at the consistency of it, uh, the neck is real tightly felted, and this is fluffy, this is fluffy, and that's real tight looking. I want y'all to learn from my mistakes. I took a solid piece like that. I had the same amount of material in the neck as I did in the head and the body. So if you're trying to get something to where the consistency is the same all the way through, is to go ahead and before you start to felt it, this is gonna be my head 
and then roll up the body you know and say this gonna be the body and you just leave less materials right there in the middle see that you know if you do in that type of shape like that right there that's another one I had made personally craftsmen like the contrast between things just like people's is all different shapes and sizes I think that it's more visual interesting if your characters if this one might be tall thin this one might be short and wide I guess I could style the hair a little different though let's see there we go even more contrast now you don't have to use a, a foam you know piece inside of y'all whatever you do and you ain't got to do that i just wanted to show y'all that because i thought that that was an easy way especially let's say you're making a kitty cat then you just go ahead and cut cut into this you know uh your shape that does not look like you know uh that is a uh that is well you know but just pretend you know you would cut the shape out and then do your felting around it and then you know your wool pieces is going to stick out and all and it's going to match the cutout shapes you would have little ears pointy ears and all uh, to cat lovers out there i apologize because uh that looks like the uh chupacabra in mexico hold up craft man you got to show us what you're going to do with that piece that you worked on earlier you talking about that right though These some little eyeballs I got off of Amazon. Take you some glue. To do mouths and things, you're going to take you a little wispy, even less than that. What I would say is preferential is to start with a thin amount. All right. And then to just kind of work that in, okay? And you might think that you would just you know cut it go on ahead and cut the other end but don't cut the other end yet because what you want to do is you want to go on ahead and just start working from one side to the other side all right because what's going to happen is as you poking this in poking this in it's going to be pulling this like that you know mow into it anyway we're going to just try and put a little mouth on this little thing. If you don't want to have an indention, uh, you know, take you a little fine felted needle and just kind of, you know, don't go all the way through. It is possible just to make a line that's just kind of um, at the surface, you know. But I personally do like to go on ahead and go really uh, further into it because what happens is it draws things up like that right there. And see like that right there has a little uh how it goes in it's got some depth to it now that's just me personally now but i'm just saying that you don't have to do that I still feel like he's uh, missing something. Now one thing I will say too is uh, whenever you're doing something on one side, if you go on ahead and poke all the way through, when you flip it over, you might start having that color come out on that side right there. So see, I'm doing this little green hair. And if I go all the way through, shonk, shonk, shonk like that, it's gonna start coming out over here. And it's gonna look like he just hit, you know, tried to eat something and made a mess or something like that. So you just go on ahead and it'll be kind of gentle. You can go fast, just don't go all the way uh, through it. You know what I'm saying? Hold up, craft man. I want me some rosy cheeks on that thing like that. Well, one trick that I have seen people do is they take on some uh, pastel 
and they'll kind of ground us some chalky pastel and they'll just kind of blush it on there like that right there. Have some rosy cheeks like that. That's what you're talking about. Craftsman, I ain't got no pastel. Ain't nobody in my family got pastel. All right, just, it's okay. It's okay. We just gonna take us some little, uh, let's see. I don't know. If you see that you got something done that you don't like, don't panic. Just take and gently start to kind of tug and tear it away and start over with it. Now, whenever it comes time to put two pieces together, it's really simple. All you got to do is just kind of position it right about where you want it. And then just start doing that. We are welding. Welding these pieces together right now. And it probably don't take as much as you think. Because see that's already stuck together. Just that you've seen before your very eyes. And you want to come around to the back side. And just kind of go all the way around. It like that right there. And then there you go. You got his head attached on there good. Right, look at that, look at it. Anytime you're getting ready to do a curvature shape, like this little arm right there, go ahead, prepare your uh, your wool, bunch it up together, bunch it together like this right there. And then, you know, go ahead and curvature like you like it. Like that right there. There we go. All right, and then just start working now. And remember to flip it over the other way. And you can use your needle to nudge a little bit like that. See that right there? And nudge and nudge like that. Now what you don't want to do is to be in your object and then try to start bending it. Because that little end can snap up off of them. Don't want that to happen. Alright, let's flip it over. You see that? And you can see that it's already starting to, uh, you know, maintain the shape right there. And sometimes you may find it helpful to have some, you know, leftover on the edge right there. Like let's say you're going to join this to a character, you know. Uh, it might be easier instead of just joining that to that, to have you some little feather edge like that, to just kind of come on in here. And it'll help you to, uh, you know, to attach that better. What in the world is that? I want to show y'all something real quick. It was really neat to me. This is an instruction booklet that came with uh, one of the kits that I got. It shows you how that you can take and make you a little cube looking. And that you can take and make it into a little die, you know, like you play uh, dice with a little die. But this right here is what I really appreciated. It says poke the ball in six faces and easily complete the wool fell scorpion that's what i would call a uh, big time uh mistranslation i hope y'all enjoyed this please join me next time on state of crafting and in the meantime find somebody to uh tell them something good about themselves to encourage them i love y'all and keep steady craft